Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favourite new features in Serum 2, and that is the mod remap feature. So, for those of you that don't know, you can modulate anything, and then pop into the matrix, and go over here to the curve, and double click, and now we can change the behaviour of our modulation in any way we like. Uh, alternatively, we can also right-click on the modulation here and go Edit Custom Curve. Okay, so this is an awesome feature because it gives us a huge amount of flexibility with our modulations. However, we don't yet have the ability to modulate these points, but we can get around this limitation by running our modulation via an LFO. So let's grab a base patch quickly. So let's say we want to affect the curve of the filter envelope and we want to be able to modulate the behavior. So what we're going to need to do is get a blank LFO. Don't worry about the triggering. Change it to milliseconds or hertz even and just set it to zero hertz and then create a ramp up. And now you're going to want to replace the relevant modulator with the LFO, pop into the matrix, envelope two, LFO four, and put envelope two, or you know, the modulator we've replaced onto the phase of the LFO that we've used. So now this becomes our mod remap curve. So for example, we could take this part where the sort of twang of the bass is happening. And just take a modulator. I'd usually use a macro, but uh, let's go for the mod wheel because I've used all these macros up. Pop it on there. Okay, so yeah, you can modulate these points in any way you like and uh, get a bit more control of your modulations. So that's it really. Hopefully you find that helpful. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my preset and sample packs available on my Gumroad in the link in the description for this video. And otherwise, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.